now that we have finished chapter eight that spoke about the challenges in the airlines industry, now let us move on to learn about the future of aviation industry. That is the airlines as well as the airports. This is a short chapter as well. Now the recent COVID-19 pandemic has played havoc in every sector, including the aviation sector. The airline industry and the airport have suffered immensely for the past three years. The pandemic, as we all know, added to the regional and global recession and financial woes. And till date, the world is battling the repercussions of the pandemic. The world till today is battling the problems that, um, you know, the world was, was it, the problems that were thrust upon the world in terms of, you know, financial crunch and so on due to the pandemic. And aviation sector also was one of the sectors that were worst hit, that was worst hit. So the aviation industry, as I said, was worst hit of all. And the preponderance of escalated expenditure for the maintenance of facilities over profits gained was a dominant feature of the industry during the pandemic. That means the expenditure for maintenance of facilities, just even as Rubble said earlier, he said maintenance of aircraft is one of the challenges of the, of the airlines industry. So likewise, if you try to... Um, one minute, Kamala is joining in. Okay, so um, Kamala, you have uh, come in late. Anyway, so back to our slides. The preponderance of escalated expenditure for the maintenance of facilities over profits gained was a dominant feature of the industry during the pandemic. That means expenditure was greater than the profits. Now, to counter the impact, the airline sector has devised multiple leisure plans and luring travel trips and tips, all in an effort of fortifying the financial structure to get back into the track that is of each individual company, as well as contributively fortifying of the industry as a whole. Just the sector is still rebounding. However, it can be foreseen that in the next future, or even in the near future, this year, 2023, we anticipate high ticket prices. Uh, that is, ticket prices may be hiked once the industry is proximate to stabilization. However, some parts of the world are facing recession. But talking about ticket prices, again, they need to rebound. We look forward to it as being, re you know, to, as getting back on the track. But however, ticket prices is seen as one of uh, you know, as indubitably a, a kind of a good effort towards getting back on the track and getting proximate to stabilization and to recover the past losses and then dive towards profit maximization as a renewed goal. Now, overhauling in technologies and implementing greener projects in every airport across the globe is a dream that is on its way to be realized. As we studied earlier, green dream, remember? green dream that is, uh, you know, avoid, you know, uh, of course, inevitably, there would be environmental impact, but avoid, uh, you know, a major impact or a major environmental impact that is, uh, you know, have uh, techniques in a way, like, for example, implementing solar, solar projects into the airport industry or in the airport is, as we studied earlier, is one of the measures that they have taken to combat the challenge of the, of an adverse environmental impact by the aviation industry in the environment. So overhauling in technologies and implementing greener projects in every airport across the globe is a dream that is on its way to being realized for most of the airports across the globe. Now disparities in the performance of different airports and airlines are inevitable again, that is, different, uh, you know, every airport and every airline is different in their operation. However, bridging the gap model may be introduced and is advisable to be strategized. Now, this is possible with unified efforts of the airlines, airports, monitoring bodies, and the government. A recent survey conveys that airline leases have plummeted low 
since the original manufacturers of aircraft have continued manufacturing aircraft with little demand, and now there seems to be a surge in availability rather than sales and utility. That means uh, you, they have more aircrafts, but lesser utility and less sales. That means, again, the present status is availability and supply overrides demand. That is, supply is more than the demand. Now, CETA, that is, um, a, you know, a prominent aeronautical company, was founded in February 1949, and it's headquartered in Switzerland, Geneva, and it's a well-known aviation giant. CETA, in its 2020 report and an online publication, opined that the security at airports would be upgraded to augment a frictionless journey with the help of upgraded technology and artificial intelligence that would scan passengers without the need of taking off their shoes or jewels or any such items that need to be checked from the passenger. I'm sure you are, you're aware that at the security uh, you know, at the security niche of any airport, passengers are required to, you know, put their jewels, mobile phones and shoes or leather belts, or, you know, in the tray there for security and then pass through a security check. But now CETA is coming up with um, a, a, a kind of an upgraded technology, an artificial intelligence system that would scan passengers without the need for the passengers to take off their shoes or jewels or any other items that need to be checked from the passengers. CETA further opines that the future of airports seem promising with defined software networks that would provide better airline connectivity and the airports on the other hand will be high tech and highly automated. CETA also opines that artificial intelligence would take over the sector and the introduction of high, highly intelligent systems would birth the golden silica era, as CETA calls it. The world can be optimistic and can anticipate the launch of newer shapes of aircraft in the future with better capacity and integrated techniques meeting customer needs through enhanced in-flight services. Overall, increased, flex, increased flexibility, cybersecurity, growth in budgeted airlines to encourage air travel, upgraded predictive technology, and the allied are some of the things then, that can be expected. Now, in the nearest future, okay, now, of course, we are seeing that with all, the future of the airports would be much reflected in expansive use of artificial intelligence that is just in the nearest future, and the decade ahead would be brighter as, as uh, you know, the aviation sector anticipates that with enhanced and swift connectivity on one hand and upgraded facilities at, at airports, and of course, even within the aircraft on the other hand. So this is all for this chapter. We finished challenges as well as we try to look into the future of aviation in brief. So for this subject, we have completed nine chapters in all. So this is your syllabus. We you know, discussed the history and structure of the airline industry in the first lecture. Then we moved on to chapter two, the fundamentals of airline management in the other lecture. Chapter three, airline company structure and airport airline nexus. We also studied about types and models of airlines operation, airlines operation control as a coordination hub or the nerve center, airlines scheduling, operation deviations, which we completed during last class. And this class we spoke about the last two short chapters, challenges in airlines and airport operations for which even Robo participated in the discussion. And he also came up with certain answers talking about challenges in airlines and airport operations. And the last chapter being future of aviation. And with that, we complete the syllabus for the subject, airlines operation management. Let me know if you have any questions. So as uh, Robert has asked us about some of the aviation giants, so I'm just trying to put the names here. So you can research about them and then see what are the measures that they are taking to combat the challenges in the aviation industry. 
Metron Aviation USA. Then there is Frequentis. It's an Austrian company. Mm. Of, course, of course, they have branches across the globe. They have been, uh, some of them have a branch, not a Metron, of course. CETA has a branch here in the UAE, that is United Arab Emirates. Now, apart from that, of course, uh, there is Thales, which is a French company, okay? But again, they have a lot of other branches across the globe, including Italy and so on. Uh, yeah, so these are some of uh, yeah, the companies. Of course, CETA I've already mentioned, sorry. Uh, okay. That is a Swiss company, but have branches across the globe. So these are some of the things that have come to my mind now. But likewise, I mean, there are a number of uh, aviation companies. So Abdurrahman, you have asked about the nexus between, that was what's the connection between hijacking of planes as well as, right? That's your question? Yeah, yeah. And okay. Yeah, so naturally, hijacking of planes is a legal issue, it is a security issue, and it does impact even the airport, right? It, of course, first of all, impacts the airport operation. Everybody is terrorized, especially the airlines, which has its airline office in that particular um, airport. So again, the operations get affected with respect to certain routes that the airline takes, right? So one particular aircraft is, it, it's like a unit. You see, without the airports, how would the airlines operate? It needs a place to operate. And without uh, airlines, what would the airports do? So they are interdependent. So it's basically a security concern, the general aviation industry. Are you understanding me? Yeah, I get it now. Okay. So, um, uh, if you just go to, uh, and I just try to find out some examples of um, plane hijacking, there are uh, there are plenty of cases which are there. So then, of course, they there are reports which talk about the impact that is it has had even on the airports. So it's basically security concerns, uh, you know, sustained performance, um, you know, operations or, you know, uh, it impacts the operations and so on. Any other question? For those who came in late, so uh, you just came in for the next chapter, we finished just before you came, challenges and the airlines and airports operations.